Hey yo, what's up everybody? I am Aqua Dude, and welcome to the Q&A. That's right, today we are doing the Q&A um, uh, from my community post that I did a while ago. So, um, yeah, basically we're just gonna go through the questions that you guys had for me, and uh, I'm going to answer them uh, the best uh, that I can. So... Yeah, this will probably be very interesting, um, because I've, uh, seen y'all's questions, they're, uh, quite interesting ones, to be honest. <laughs> now then, uh, yeah, let's get straight on into it. And the first group of questions comes from my good friend, Lulu Hart, and, um, uh, her questions are, who is your least favorite character that you made? Alright, um, the least favorite character of my OCs that I made is actually Scar. I'm not too proud of his design on any of the iterations of him that I've created. He's, he just never really looks right. I can never really get him to look right. Um, uh, yeah, and also his story is just a little bit meh, like it's just... Honestly, the Crusher could um, uh, live without him, to be honest. Like, uh, the, out of the story, it, it, Crusher and Hana could have um, uh, just been alone in it. But um, uh, I added Scar. But he's, he's still somewhat cool, in my opinion. But, yeah, not my favorite. He's very much not my favorite. And also she asks, Who is your favorite character that you made? My favorite character that I've made is Tango. Tango is um, uh, my OC from the Rise of the Dragon King project, which um, uh, I have been working on for a while now. But um, uh, Tango is just my absolute favorite. He's a total badass, and um, uh, he loves his girlfriend, Yuni. He's very loyal. Very smart and skilled, powerful. He's just he's just the definition of a badass. So yeah, he's definitely my favorite OC that I've made uh, so far. Uh, what is your favorite video game? My favorite video game is Fortnite. Uh, now that may seem like not really, but it is uh, my favorite video game so far. And I have a lot of video games that I like, but Fortnite is some, uh, just a really good one that I can always come back to. What is your favorite movie? My favorite movie is um, actually a new one. It's the newest installment in the MonsterVerse, Godzilla Kong The New Empire. I absolutely love that movie. It is fantastic. If you haven't seen it, go watch it. It's so good. It's so fun. Action-packed. Uh, just everything you want in a monster movie. <laughs> it's epic. What is your favorite song? My favorite song is some, uh, uh, actually a country song. Uh, yes, some, uh... I am a uh, lover of the country style music, uh, and my favorite country song of all time is God's Country by Blake Shelton. It is a very good song, and I enjoy it a lot. So, yeah, that's, um, uh, that's that one. She also asks... What's your favorite word? Mine is muffin. My favorite word is love. I love the word love. It's, it's honestly because it means so much. It's such a special word, and I absolutely love the word love. <laughs> oh, <yeah. coughs> what do you call people? I like, like I call people muffin heads. I call people Remorats a lot of the time. I call you, my audience, my Remorats. My fans as well, I call you. Um, but yeah, uh, I, I like to call you Remorats um, uh, because of the, oops, uh, because of the Remorats. Here, these are the Remorats. Um, 
in the little thing. That that it's just my pet Remorats right there. Um, I I have them. I keep them there. Just uh, just for safekeeping. What's your favorite subject? As in school-wise, I'm gonna assume this uh, means. And my favorite subject school-wise, ah, uh, you know, I don't really like um uh, the. I don't really like school a lot, but um, uh, I'd say physical education. Uh, I, I really love moving around and stuff like that, although I am quite a bit lazy a lot of the time in those. But there are times when I'll actually be active and stuff like that, and um, uh, it's honestly my favorite because I love physical activity and I love pushing myself. Where did the idea for making content come from? The idea for making content came from a YouTuber called Log.Zip. He's a Minecraft YouTuber who um, uh, does a lot of stuff with mods and um, uh, just ad adding things into Minecraft to make the game more fun. But I was actually inspired by him to be a YouTuber, and um, uh, I originally planned to be just a Minecraft YouTuber. But then I decided I wanted to make a lot more content. Also, what really helped me was actually... A, a, a movie called Mitchells vs. Machines. A movie um, uh, the, from 2021, I believe it was from. But I loved this movie. And um, uh, actually, I was inspired by the main character, Katie Mitchell. And uh, she is um, she's like a content creator of herself. And she has a lot of fun. And, um, uh, you know, it's just... You know, so before I watched Log.Zip, I actually was inspired a bit by Katie. Um, uh, that, but um, uh, my idea of that was originally theater. I was planning on becoming like an actor or a performer or something like that. But then I decided, hey, why not just do, why not just do this stuff online, on social media? And uh, Log.Zip helped me with that because he's a YouTuber, he, and um, uh, he just does all sorts of cool stuff, and uh, er earns a living off of creating content, and having fun just entertaining an audience. So, that's kind of what did it for me. What's your least favorite subject? Uh, this must be continuing off of the, um, uh, the favorite subject. Uh, my least favorite subject is math. Math is my least favorite subject. I suck at it, and it's just frustrating. I can't really do it too well. It just, it just sucks. And last question, what annoys you the most? When people think that they're not good enough. It absolutely drives me up the walls whenever people just can't see the good in themselves. Whenever it's right there. Especially whenever it's obvious. Like, sometimes you need to look deep inside yourself to find um, uh, your real good qualities and stuff like that. But for some people, they express their good qualities constantly, all the time, and they constantly think that they're not good enough. They constantly think that um, uh, they have no good qualities. Whenever their good qualities are right there. <laughs> You know, so it just, it drives me up the walls. Like, dude, just look at yourself. You, you are awesome. Like, jeez, man, come on. Love yourself, bro. <sighs> the next questions are from my good friend, Kaiju Chaos. And they say, what is Aqua's weakness other than strawberries? Uh, my weaknesses um, is overheating and um, just an overwhelming amount of something. I can take a certain amount of things, such as my body can actually absorb electricity, but I can't take in too much of it or it will start hurting. So basically an overdose of electricity will, you know, start to be painful. And, um... That's the same thing with fire. I can take quite a bit of fire, but um, uh, the, an overwhelming amount of it will uh, result in me getting burned. 
And also, my gills. My gills are, um, uh, basically just exposed points, somewhat like somebody's eyes or mouth or something like that. They're just, like, um, uh, very exposed points. Like, if you were to stab a blade in between one of my gills, that would probably hurt. But then again, it wouldn't if you don't have the strength. Again, I can take a lot of trauma. Like, if a normal person were to, like, shoot an arrow or a gun it into my gills, I probably wouldn't feel it. But if somebody as strong as me were to do the exact same thing, it would probably it would probably seriously hurt. So yeah, uh, how many times did Pyro do arson? We've lost count. We've completely lost count of the number of times that Pyro has burned a building or some sort of structure. Pyro just, he loves to go on rampages, he loves destroying things, I swear, if, um, uh, I didn't keep him on a leash, the, the dude would probably, um, uh, cause more destruction than a literal nuke. Uh, he mostly keeps it controlled, burning one building, um, uh, burning one building during his, um, uh, rampages, but he makes sure to destroy that building, obliterate it. So yeah, we've really lost count of the number of times that um, uh, he's actually committed um, uh, a crime of arson. How was Crusher and Hannah's wedding? I don't know. I wasn't there. I wasn't there at the wedding. I wish I was because it was a nice romantic moment. But I did manage to steal that wedding photo from one of the shadow creatures because every single one of them got one. So I just decided to um, uh, take it and show it to y'all. So, yeah. <laughs> oh, and uh, Kaiju's got some more questions down here. Uh, she actually replied to her comment. Who is your favorite Godzilla character that isn't Godzilla? My favorite Godzilla character that is not Godzilla is, I would say, King Ghidorah. King Ghidorah is an absolute badass of a titan. He is th the greatest Godzilla villain ever. Like, um, uh, he's always been, like, a massive challenge for Godzilla, and he's really, really cool and super powerful, so I really admire him. Where did Crusher get his boots from? Crusher um, uh, the, had his boots custom made for him uh, the, by his shadow creatures, actually. He, his entire outfit was made by them. But uh, if you really want the, um, uh, the short technical answer, it's literally just something you can find on Vroid. <laughs> What's your opinion on sharks? I love sharks. Sharks are one of m sharks are my favorite animal. I love sharks. They're super uh, they're super interesting and um uh, I just uh, there's so much variety to them uh, and their like weird abilities and stuff like that. They're just so cool to me. I love them. What is your favorite dinosaur? My favorite dinosaur is the Triceratops. Uh that growing up I loved dinosaurs so much. And, um, uh, my, and my top favorite of all the dinosaurs that I've ever seen is the Triceratops. I don't know what it was about it, but uh, uh, as a child, uh, I love the Triceratops, so it's always just sort of stuck with me. Like, the T-Rex and the Raptor are cool, but um, uh, there's just something about the Triceratops that um, uh, I loved as a kid, so I just still love it now as um, a 17-year-old about to um, uh, reach adulthood. You know, I'm about to become an adult. That's, uh, that's crazy. Uh, can I sacrifice Pyro to the uh, Fungi Cult? No, you cannot. Pyro would uh, probably destroy the entire thing. Uh, he's that psychotic. He would destroy and obliterate the entire thing with little to no effort. So, yeah. D probably wouldn't recommend doing that. And what does Aqua do when not fighting bad guys? What hobbies? I swim, I sleep, I eat, and I train. That's pretty much it. <laughs> Next up from Lefty Puppet. It says, "Do Aqua and Pyro like 
do Aqua and Pyro like suffering? Um, actually, uh, for me, no. I do not like suffering, but I'm able to bear a whole lot of it because of my highly trained pain tolerance. Pyro, on the other hand, he's such a freaking psycho, he does love suffering. If you stab him in the gut, he will enjoy that. He will freaking enjoy that. He is literally crazy. <laughs> it's insane. Is Scar jealous of Hana because he wants Crusher? He seemed like he is in the wedding photo. No. Scar is not. Matter of fact, Scar is actually canonically Arrow Ace, asexual, and aromantic. He does not want any form of relationship uh, whatsoever. He doesn't care for that. He's, he's just one of those people that prefers to live alone. So no, he does not, um, uh, he does not want a um, uh, crusher. Uh, nor Hana. He's just sort of his own guy. And I need to know if I can pat Pyro on the head. If you sneak up on him, you can pet him, and he has a bit of a purr. But that purr sounds more like a growl. Like a very, very aggressive growl. So it may sound scary, but he's actually enjoying it, and I would know because I've pet Pyro on the head before, and I've I've actually <laughs> sort of stopped because it was kind of terrifying hearing that growl of a purr. Like, bro, why in the world do you sound like that? <coughs> and this one is from AKA Zephyrus Draws, and it says... When did you decide to become a VTuber and for what reasons? I decided to become a VTuber as I was planning on starting my channel. I originally planned on starting my channel as a faceless uh, YouTuber um, uh, with, with like a mask on. Like I would wear a mask. Like one of those people you see on TikTok with the LED sunglasses and the like ninja style mask. Um, but then I actually saw VTubers. I can't remember what the first VTuber that I saw was, but I believe it was Gargura. And Gargura is actually one of the inspirations for my avatar, as some um, uh, Gargura is a shark VTuber, and I am a cat shark VTuber. So got a little bit of inspiration from her in that. But uh, I saw a whole bunch of uh, VTubers, like um, uh, Mother V3, Shy Lily, Porcelain Maid, uh, Monarch, um, Sayu. So yeah, I've I've seen a lot. Um, I've seen a lot of um, uh, VTubers, Fifi, Noxanor, uh, a lot, a lot of VTubers. So uh, yeah, I'm a, I'm subscribed to a lot of VTubers, a lot of them. Matter of fact, um, uh, as of uh, as of recording this, Gargura is currently live, so that's cool. But <laughs> uh, anyways, yeah, um, I was inspired by them because um, uh, you know, I th I thought it would be really cool. Like, hey, I can I can actually do what I've always wanted to do and be a really cool persona and i noticed that vtubers have actual lore to them so i could add lore to my character and i absolutely love lore so i donned the vtuber avatar um because i wanted to be a i uh, wanted to be a um, uh, super powered uh the cat shark uh the anime boy that's pretty much, uh, that's pretty much it. That's uh, what happened. That's uh, how I uh, was inspired to become a VTuber. All right. Um, the next question is one from Lulu Heart. Well, um, uh, it's actually not. It's from, uh, it's a message from Lulu to, uh, from Callie, her her friend, and 
uh, Kylie has a Q&A question. She wants to know if you like grippers, feet. No, but they are very useful in combat. Uh, as, you can, as you saw from, the, if you've seen it, uh, one of my shorts, uh, I do, um, uh, I fight uh, the shadow creatures uh, that are in the Crusher's army. And uh, in that fight, I, I utilize my uh, legs as well as my fists. So for me, legs, uh, are, legs and feet are very powerful weapons. Uh, and my legs and feet are much more powerful weapons as on my feet, I actually have claws. I have claws on my feet. So, yeah, there's a little bit of an extra, extra weaponry uh, added to them. So, yeah, there, there's, there's that answer. And uh, this final one... This final one is from Lefty Puppet, but I can't answer it on this, but I'll go ahead and read it out loud anyway. Um, it says, my final question is that who would win in a fight, Pyro or Insanity? Uh, Insanity is, I'm guessing, a OC on Lefty Puppet's channel. I have not seen the stats for um, Insanity yet, so I can't really make a accurate power scaling of who would win in a fight, but as of what I know, Pyro would win because he is insanely powerful so unless unless insanity is just that much more powerful than pyro then i guess insanity will win but um uh, i will like post maybe a short answering the question after um, uh, after Lefty, uh, uh, posts the stats for Insanity, but as of right now, Pyro wins. Because I got nothing on Insanity, so, don't really know, so, that just gives Pyro the victory by default, because we actually have lore for him, and accurate power scaling for him. So, yeah! But anyways, that was the Q&A. I, uh, really do hope that, um, uh, you all had your answer, uh, I really do hope that y'all had your questions answered in this, and if you didn't, make sure to leave your, um, uh, questions for Nick's Q&A in the comments for this video, and I will make sure to answer them in the next video. But anyways, that's all I have for now. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will catch you in the next one. Thank you, and good night. Bye-bye!